Welcome to June's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is validate IP address. Write a function to check whether an input string is a valid IP version 4 address or IP version 6 address, or neither. So I've seen this problem before for an interview with a big tech company, so it's definitely might be good to know. IP version 4 addresses are consists of four numbers ranging from 0 to 255, and they're separated by dots. Okay. One thing, though, the leading zeros for any of these numbers are going to be considered invalid. So that's something to consider. Now, IP version 4 or IP version 6 addresses are a little bit more complicated. Those have eight groups, and each one of these need to be representative by a hexadigit. So um, you can use the int function to check that in Python. For this, leading zeros are fine, but the leading zeros can't exceed four digits. So this example here, an address with 02001, even though this technically could be converted to a hexadigit, it's um, not going to be valid because extra leading zeros are considered invalid. So I did solve this question, but and here's my original solution. You can see that I split the string uh, either by period or col colon. And I did a bunch of checks using combinations of regex and uh, int conversion, uh, hexadigit conversion here. And it did get accepted, but it was really hard to like get. I had failed the test cases a lot, and it just wasn't very easy to follow. So I just want to show you that sometimes like you could solve these by just brute forcing it and just trying this and that. But um, I, had, I had looked at some solutions and thought, OK, there's definitely better ways to do this. So I'm going to start from the beginning and try to go through one of the more eloquent solutions. So first thing with IP4s, right? We want to what? Basically, we want to split this into a list by the period. And for each one of those numbers, make sure that we could convert those into an integer and make sure that integer is between 0 and 255. One more thing, we need to make sure that there's no leading zeros, right? So let's see, there's going to be four groups split by periods, numbers 0 to 255, Oops. and no, come on, no leading zeros. So how, how can we do that? Okay, so I'm going to start off by writing um, a function, is ip4, and this is going to take a string of each one of those numbers inside of the ip address. And what, what I'm going to do is basically check if this can be converted into an integer, and its integer is between 0 and 255, and there are no leading zeros. Okay, so one way I can do that is I'm going to write a try and say, here's what I'm going to return. I'm going to return whether the number it could be converted into a int, right? So that's one thing. But also, I'm going to convert this back into a string and make sure that it equals the string that was given to us. So this will tell us if there's any leading zeros. It's like a two for one. It'll check to see if we can convert it to an, to a, to an integer, and it'll check to see if there's leading zeros. I also need to check if the um, int s is within the range. So it's got to be greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 255. So this is going to check that. And if all these conditions are checked, then it will return a true. Uh, otherwise, it will return false. But the reason I did this in a try function is because this could throw an exception. If that happens, like, I'm kind of screwed. So I need to do, catch that and say, OK, if it throws an exception, return false. Cool. Um, so let's just start with writing for the IP4 address. So what I would do is first, I'm going to create a list and call it IP4 and split the string by periods. Now, the very first thing I need to check is is the length of this 4, right? So if IP, 
if length of IP4 equals 4, and this is a tr cool trick you can do with Python. I'm going to use the all function and say, let's check is IP4 for, for numbers for and in IP4. So all of these need to return true. Okay, for IP4. And if and if it does, then we know we've succeeded. Like we know that everything inside here is um, fulfilling the conditions for IP4. So we can return what? IPv6, IPv4, I mean. So IPv4. So let me just test that, make sure that I didn't do anything wrong. And I did, of course, extra period, or I'm sorry, extra equal sign. Yeah, okay, so that looks like it works, but now we need to do for IP6, something similar. All right, so let's, let's start writing this for IP6, is IP6, we'll do the same, same thing. Um, and the very first thing I think would be prudent to check is if the length of this string is greater than four. And the reason for that is if the length is greater than four, then it just automatically fails. Like it doesn't matter what's going on because um, this accepts leading zeros. Um, so we don't need to check anything else if it's greater than four. So just return false immediately. Otherwise, we're gonna do another try. And the way that you can check to see if one of these um, is going to be a hexadigit, you can use the int function with the base of 16. So use the int function with the base of 16. We're going to try that. And I guess you can just try it. And if you are able to get through it, then you could just return true. Otherwise, we know um, it wasn't able to be converted, so we can return false. And I'm not positive this is going to work, but let me, let's check if it does. Uh, let's see. So let's split IP by colon this time. And this is going to be IP6. And remember, there's going to be eight groups, length of IP6. If it equals eight and all is IP6 for N and IP6 then we can return string IP, IPv6. Otherwise, if it gets to all this, then we'll just return what? Neither, right? So I feel like I might be missing something here, but let's check to see if this works. Pending, here we go. And that does seem to return that. So it looks good so far. So let's go ahead and submit this. And I'm pretty sure there's one test case that's gonna fail. Yep, so this is what happens when there's special characters. For whatever reason, this special character is fine. Like that's considered okay to be converted into an integer in Python. So I couldn't really think of a better way to check for that rather than just to use regex here. So I just used regex and said, all right, if match, and you can use this, um, the backslash w to check for, for non, uh, for special characters, right? And if it exists, if a special character inside this string exists, well then return a false. So if match, um, special character, then return false. So let's just make sure that works for this test case before I submit it. Should return a neither. Yep, it returns a neither. So let's submit that. And that does get accepted. So this is the solution that I liked. 
Um, there's so many ways that you can do this. You saw my first solution. It was a total mess, but that also did get accepted. Um, so there are many ways to do this. This was like the cleanest, I thought. Um, so, hey, there we go.